good time to breed your cow. It all just depends on the age, um, the maturity level, and the size of your cow. There is a time when they are mature enough, so, and that's normally when they turn two. Heifers can go into heat when they're five months old, but you do want to be cautious with that because it, some, they can get bred at that age. Um, there are a few symptoms of um, when your cow is in heat, and a lot of people don't know which what those symptoms are. And it is really nice knowing what to look for when your cow is in heat so you know when to get a bull. And then you know um, however long you need to keep him for and how many heats he's been in with the girls and then you can kind of base that off of when they were bred and when you can expect calves. So a few of the symptoms are discharge, just look for them mounting each other. Um, and then I've also noticed that after one of my cows going to heat, she has um, a blood discharge. Here comes our bull, so I'm just gonna move away, kind of step out probably. And so I don't, I respect him. I'm not scared of him. I don't want to get too um, acquainted with him, but he's a good bull. Um, I just rather keep our distance. Here he comes. Romeo. Hi, handsome boy. Romeo. So the cow's heat um, from like how far apart they are, um, it's like, 21 to 27 days. Another symptom of um, the mean heat, if you just have one cow, is them being very destructive. Okay, so May May is in heat today. I am very excited. Um, so we will be keeping an eye on them. Right now, she is not really in standing heat, so she is not standing for him quite yet. Uh, but he's definitely trying to mount her, and I'm hoping that she will get bred. He's following her around, and he's trying to mount her. Um, she does have discharge, which is one of the um, one of the signs of the meeting heat. And of course, yes, they're together. It's definitely something that every farmer should be excited about because you always want to get your cows bred. So it's standing heat, which means they will stand for the bull when he mounts them, so they can get bred. Um, that is sometimes it takes like yesterday and the day before. He was sniffing her, um, trying to mount her. She wouldn't let him, but she wasn't in full heat yet today. She has discharge. Tomorrow it may even be the day that she gets bred. I have not been watching them today, so she could already have gotten bred. But as of that video that I just showed, it does not look like she was standing for him. So it could take a while. Some cows are only in heat for like 18 hours. It just depends on the cow. Um, the bull can bring them into heat. It starts their hormones and then they will go into true heat and then stand in heat and then yeah. Okay, so copper, zinc, magnesium, and bike. One second. Okay, so copper, zinc, magnesium, and selenium is something that a cow really needs to help them ovulate. Um, going into heat, magnesium is the most, um, it plays a big part in the ovary, which does help um, ovulation. So right now we are using this high mag, which is a red mineral that I give free choice to cows. A cow won't eat more than it needs. So you put like a whole big tub of minerals in there, they're gonna only eat what they need. Um, there are minerals that are deficient in the ground, um, so it is always good to have minerals um, free choice for I'll give them a pretty big scoop. I have a pretty big bowl that I will put in there and I'll fill it up and they'll eat it all. Most of the time, a lot of them come up to it and get right away. Sometimes it takes a few days, but I can definitely tell when they really need it. So I try to keep out that as much as possible. But sometimes I just forget, so. You can buy mineral blocks. Um, my cows do not like it. Um, they, they sometimes go over and lick it, but it, the salt block does go faster. Um, I do have salt block in there with them full time and they love it. 